Hi guys, Robot of You the Tube here, and today I'll be showing you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to your TV for free without having to buy an RCA cable. So first, you're gonna need something to hold all your wires together, then some tape to close everything up, a pencil. I always find that useful to wind up the tin foil we're gonna be using, scissors just to cut the tape and prepare it, um, bigger tape. You're gonna need this. Um, some wires to conduct the signal, the electricity, a hot glue gun to keep everything together, and if you need tin foil. And of course you need your Raspberry Pi. So first you're gonna get some tape and just peel a little bit off, cut that with scissors, and then make it about the size of the RCA, the I'll put on the Raspberry Pi. Now you're going to want to put the sticky side facing up around the RCA port. So the uh, the sticky part is touching your fingers and the non-sticky part is touching the metal. So now that you have that, you're going to need your tin foil. So with the tin foil, you're going to wrap that up around the pencil. This makes a conductive material that can be secured onto the RCA port. I'm going to secure this by putting the tape around it to keep it nice and snug and then later we'll hot glue it on. So now we have that. We're gonna, you may not be able to see but the tape we made earlier is on top of it so it tightens it down and keeps it nice and snug around the connector. Now we're going to clip off some excess duct tape and here I'm making sure that there's no aluminum foil in the middle and you can see it's nice and clean on the inside. Now we're gonna get one of our wires and another piece of tin foil and just wrap that tin foil around it as I'm gonna do in a few seconds. You want to make it so the wire leads are touching it and that way it can conduct electricity through it. Now, as you can see here, I have it all connected, and this part is going to be the center of the RCA thing, the RCA port, which means that it has both of the connections. We're going to have to hot glue this down to keep it secure. I would use solder, but solder doesn't stick to, um, oh sorry, it doesn't stick, stick to tin foil so for this tutorial it would be best to use hot glue. Now you're going to want to slip that in and make sure that the bead of the hot glue is flush with the bottom of the connector. Wash at the top of the connector and that is going to be later filled in with a little bit of hot glue. So now we have one of them, one of the wires wired up. Now we're going to have to wire up the other wire through the other connector. This isn't that hard. You just have to get a little bit of it and stick the wire into the tin foil. Make sure that it's touching the tin foil. And you never want both of the wires to be touching each other, like the metal leads, not the wires themselves. That's okay. but. Because if you do that, you can short circuit it, and I would recommend if you're watching this tutorial, you know a little bit about like basic um, electronics. Okay, so now I have both of them, and as you may have seen, I filled the cavity up with hot glue to keep everything nice and secure. And now the paracord out, like the thing that holds all those nylon strands inside. I'm using that to secure all my wires together. This is an optional step, but I like it because it keeps everything nice and neat and also it reduces the chances of it breaking. Okay, so here I am getting an electrical tape and just wrapping it around to keep it nice and tight and more secure. As you can see, we have a nice port. Now you're going to want to fold the leads of the wire because it just makes it easier to put in. And now we have that on. Now the easy and fun part is just getting this hot glue gun and melting the ends of it with a little hot glue onto the side. 
Now you're gonna want to repeat the same thing on the other side. So once you've done that, you will have two. And now I'm gonna use one that I made before this video because it's full. And as you can see, the Raspberry Pi is putting the signal on my TV.